Hello everyone. In this edition, I came up with a new topic, AppConnect Enterprise Message Flow, logging in Cloud Pack for integration. Uh, I'm sure most of you are well aware of what has to be done, but you know, I just wanted to share my thoughts. Um, you may have a better solution than this. Okay, so in case of uh, um, you know, out of the box open shift uh, installation, EFK comes by default. That is Elasticsearch, FluentD, and Kibana. So, in such circumstances, how can we leverage this EFK logging provided by OpenShift for looking at the logging information of message flows? So, um, if you look at it, the normal uh, uh, principle that has been followed by be it EFK or ELK, um, it will have a log collector and then forwarder, then it will store and then display. So in case of EFK, Fluentd, which is a daemon that runs in all the Kubernetes nodes and pick up the log from the var log um, you know, directory. So, um, 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 and it will send it to Logstash and then that can be seen in Kibana. But when, 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 when you are deploying your message flows in an integration server, AppConnect Enterprise integration server, um, IBM has restricted uh, a lot of uh, you know uh, access to the uh, container file system. Uh, I hope you all know security context constraints. So though I have specified if you write your logging information in sysout, sysrr or uh, you know, D or varlog, all this information will be available in Kibana. But in case of AppConnect Enterprise Server container, um, due to the security context constraints, this particular container does not allow you to write your log in varlog. Var it is applicable only for operational dashboard that is is open tracing um, in cloud pack for integration um, there is a there is a component or offering called op operation dashboard so if you enable that then you know the sidecar pattern will make use of this particular directory i'll show you that directory but in principle do not uh, try to write in this particular directory it won't allow you to do that i can demonstrate that it is error so i suggest you to make use of the sysout so as long as you push that information write that information into sysout you can see that information in kibana okay so i mean another problem that you may face is you know the managing the file say for example if you are modifying your uh, system context constraints uh, you know by um, uh, enabling uh, the write access into the var log uh, directory. So in such case, you know, you may need to uh, be very careful that the log size, you know, it has to be uh, defined in a circular uh, format, meaning uh, if it grows to a certain, um, we call a size, then it has to reset and then, you know, um, it has to you know reset the size again so there will be a lot of problem which you may not be able to experience so I would suggest you to take this part so this is what we are going to see as long as you write your information logging information in the sysout you can very well uh, get that uh, information in Kibana right so let us uh, uh, see how we can do that again please I reiterate um, you know this is not the solution this is one of the solution uh, I just thought about this is my personal thought okay so let's move on okay so I have um, uh, um, cloud pack for integration and what you're saying is the platform navigator and this is the newer version 2021.1.1 and uh, you get to see uh, design run and uh, you know administration um, I have already the uh, AS dashboard instances created. I have launched and kept it ready. 
and I have deployed one application. So there is an application which I developed this and I have deployed it. We will come back to this application sh shortly. Uh, so we have an application, the name of the application is yes, only use case and uh, the server name is integration server is minus zero minus toolkit. Let us see what this particular application does. Now uh, I just wanted to you know narrow down my pod search which is is01 toolkit and uh, you know I just wanted to see the logs. So in, in the log, uh, so now it's ready and we don't see any log. So let us see what this particular does. So I'm going to you know post this request to the web application and if you look at it uh, this is the key payload and uh, I have some metadata which controls the execution path of the message flow I'll explain that shortly so please make a note I, I, at this point of time um, I'm, I'm, I'm providing the information I don't need any uh, logging for this particular uh, request so when I when I send it still I get the information back for example I, I get that response back hi there now but if I if I go back I will not see any log because I'm not writing anything into the logs I don't see any logs okay so now coming back let me say hey I want to you know uh, see the log say so I'm enabling the log but I don't want file logging I just say system out is fine with me okay so just say send I should be able to get the detail with say some timestamp okay you go back here and you get to see two log information I'll see what is this log information but our intention is when we write this information in the sysr we should be able to see in the kibana so nobody would want to see uh, coming uh, coming to this particular uh, Red Hat OpenShift and search for this pod and look into this log, which is, which is not correct. So, for example, you can see the Kibana dashboard from here, but in this case, what it does is certainly you will see the log information of this pod. The better way to make use of it is I've created some, you know, save search, meaning I can specify the filter depends upon the namespace and uh, depends upon the application name so for example the application that i have created let us say for example is from the use case right you know that uh, this is the application that you are going to deploy you know the application name so that can very well be created as a uh, filter criteria that helps you to narrow down your log information uh, to uh, what you are looking for so I'm just opening up my self search and I show you the filter in this case you know uh, the namespace is cp4i and in this case you know container name if you know that this is nothing but you know the name of uh, when you create an integration server uh, you know deployment you have to provide a name for that deployment so if you know the deployment well enough. so other thing is application name I, I assume you know application name will always be unique so if you have an application name you get to see now can you see these two log messages whatever you know uh, that we have uh, space you know uh, pushed it in the sys out just to double check i'm just taking the uid here and uh, i hope it matches yes it does so now you can see Right, so you can you can see this information. So this is easiest way for a person you know who who's looking for the information um, in in Kibana, uh, how easily you know he or she can uh, narrow down the search and look at that information. But the information is required, so you can make use of the different ways to push that log information into. Uh, you know elastic search so let me uh, also tell you uh, the restriction that you know the integration server 
uh, as enforced that is security context constraints so now now I say logging you just do sys out as also and by logging now I just wanted to push the log into <coughs> var log and the name of the file that I want to use is <coughs> the application name dot log you can give any name right but the response that you get is error let me show you that Data. you'll see an error right. if you look at it it says cannot write to the directory that you specified where log directory just to double check if you go here go to the terminal right cd um there log you will see open tracing please note this will be used by operational dashboard component not not by uh, you right so touch my dot log say go on even you know we cannot mkdir my directory it won't allow you to create because the integration server resource uh, has enforced uh, the security um, so that it does not allow you to create any file or log okay so now um, I mean in fact um, if, if you go back writing into the log it's you know it's easiest one you don't need to worry about the uh, log sizing circular log and all so you just write it to the log and it will be available in the kibana okay so um, this is all about this particular demo uh, coming back to the application if you look at it uh, this is the same json so it is you know available uh, in this particular you know uh, text file uh, this controls Micro. This is just a demo. You know, uh, you, you you can define your own way of uh, implementing your solution. So if you look at it, uh, it's uh, you know content-based routing. So I just check whether it is logging is required. If if it is required, then it takes this path. And if you do not want logging, it takes this path. And this is the happy path. But when it comes here, I have written uh, some of the eSQL where enriching the information with context, um, business data mapping. Now, if you want to do some you know data mapping and remove the context because the when you enter you set the context and you know um, for all the downstream processing the context information can be maintained so what the, what this does is this helps you to identify you know the log information at various stages so let me go back to my kibana here if you look at this json message right you you are seeing um, two rights right so you get to see um, two json correct so if you look at the json data this is the message context actual payload the information that you have sent is this right you know the first name last name address right this is actual business data but as a part of the payload, I send the metadata information for this particular demo. Just a metadata to control the message flow. But as a part of the enriching the event or the input, I mean message context, I, I mean I can create a UID which will be maintained for the entire scope of the message flow. A timestamp, maybe a server name, you can use it. Application name which is very key this helps you to narrow down because I am I am you know um, filtering uh, the message uh, based upon the application name so this application name helps you to uh, filter out the messages likewise you can have you know application A B C you can have different type of application and multiple application 
and uh, you can also have the message flow name so this context information it is something that you decide what information that you need to put up so if you look at it you know message flow this is the message flow and the component business data mapping so you can see in the business data mapping this is what happened right similarly what is the other one if you expand this JSON we can see uh, is only enrich with the context so if you look at it there are information which helps you to understand where are you in the downstream processing so here if you look at it here I am adding this uh, information about where am I right? this is the uh, you know message flow name and I know um, this I am I am enriching the input with some context information right so I can uh, pretty much add that details here right so here if you look at it enrich with context information so I can add the information required for me to manage my application effectively and efficiently it is not necessary that you have to do it on the same day right so if, if assuming you have some you know uh, n number of uh, you know uh, processing to be done before the request and the response after uh, assuming there are 10 steps after 8 step if it fails so for you to see how many step it has crossed this particular uh, you know um, uh, information will help if you look at it UUID is common so still you can filter the UUID uh, also all right you can you can you can uh, get the information uh, only for the particular transaction if you if we know the UUID because for the entire transaction the message context will be maintained this is this is pure my my way of implementing you know uh, this particular message flow so you can you can come up with your own way of doing it the idea behind is as long as you can you can write the log into the sysout or var log you should be able to see but in app connect uh, enterprise at this particular route is not possible only sysout okay and uh, this is a sample application i can share this application uh, through the github uh, if you look at it this is the github um, right you can you can search for this um, government manager is only use case so you can download this project interchange and uh, you can refer for your for your uh, reference okay so um, with this um, I would like to thank everyone uh, who has taken the time out and uh, you know looking at this particular demo and I also request all of you to stay safe in this pandemic situation have a nice day